Greetings and welcome to episode 7 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Saxony Empire campaign. And this, my friends, I did last time where I put the question to the council. What do we do next? Do we launch an attack against Prague or against Prussia? Now, the opinion of the council was divided equally. Many of the council saying should attack uh, Prussia, that should be our, our main focus. Uh, the equal amount of council members also saying that we should attack Prague, we should attack Austria, take the fight to them while we can. We still have this army intact here. we still got things flowing beautifully through here, as you can see here. Of course, we still control the port here for the moment. Now, Sweden have just taken Denmark, so that's going to cause a bit of a problem for us because we don't have the facilities yet, quite yet. To take them on here, as you can see, they've still got they've got quite a powerful navy and a wonderful admiral here. That admiral is very, very powerful indeed. Now we don't have any of our own fleet yet to really compensate or move against it, oppose that. Now Denmark has moved in here with their own naval forces, but that's not going. These are not going to do much with this Swedish fleet. There's every chance Sweden will move against us. Yeah, they're at peace with us at the moment, but they might declare war upon us. But we shall soon see. Now, so the the council split in half. Now, of course. With the Prussians taking Warsaw, that really has brought put a real spanner in the works in terms of what we wanted to do. It's put a huge, huge dent in our ally, because of course, as was pointed out, where's Poland here? Poland here. So, as you can see, we are a protectorate of Poland, which I completely forgot about. So, as Faramir quite quite rightly pointed out, General Faramir pointed out in the comments, we half of all our trade is an income is actually going to the Poles. So we have to effectively there's sort of two things we can wait for. We can either wait for Poland to completely disintegrate, but that would then make Prussia an absolute monster to for us to oppose. It would be incredibly difficult to take Austria and and Prussia on at the same time. It would be an incredibly difficult fight, it really would. It would probably require us to have three armies minimum. Or we can only hope that Poland does something here, or even Russia might even dip its toes into the fight here. You never know. We can only hope that Poland will retake Warsaw. My goodness me, what a fight that must have been there. Look at they, they they absolutely hammered the towns here on the, on the outskirts of Warsaw. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see quite the response. Um, that we, because I mean, look at these, these, this force here is not in good shape at all. Look at that flag there, it's absolutely ripped to shreds. So that means this force here has been in quite a lot of fighting. I wonder if what, what what's holding this up here. We don't have, at the moment, we have got a spy here, but we're just quickly checking what's down here. Now, I think we're going to push against Prague. Now, I know many of the council in Mala, we did all advise you to move against Prussia. I understand that, my friends, but I'm just hoping that Poland and Russia will keep... Prussia, sort of busy as it is. Now we also know here that Poland is uh, Austria is being attacked quite aggressively here by the Ottomans. As you can see, the Ottoman Empire here is attacking into Hungary itself. And also look at this: this farm here has been hit by the by the Ottoman by the Ottomans as well. Now there's every chance the Ottomans are going to actually begin pulling forces away from this flank here, this northern flank. Now we know we've got a force here, there's also probably a force in and around Bavaria as well, we don't know yet, that's why we're sending this gentleman here down to check what's going on deep in Vienna here. But you can see they're already starting to upgrade these tenanted farms here. I think we're going to probably push against Prague here, If it, it, I mean that would be an absolutely titanic battle, it really would, and it would probably sap a, a huge amount of our energy and our forces, but this is something we've got to do now. We're almost, if I'm not mistaken, we've got military syllabus here. If we can get drill school, it's going to open up an absolute plethora here. A plethora of forces for us, including our own grenadiers. What a boon that would be. What a boon that would be. Improved grenades. Now, of course, effectiveness. I, I'm not sure if any of these forces can actually use grenades. I'm not actually 100% sure yet. What if they can use grenades, these gentlemen here, these grenadiers? They might, yes, indeed. So, we just gotta, just gotta hold our nerve here, and just, if we're gonna take right, Austria, let's take the fight to them. Let's step on their toes here, let's step on their neck, as it were, and only hope the Ottomans can keep the pressure on them here. They've got Zagreb here, so they're just anchoring, just sort of 
westward of Vienna. They might even strike Vienna themselves. Now we are at peace with the Ottomans. I believe we've got a fairly good. We have got a very good relationship with the Ottomans. That's excellent to see. We've, of course, we've got a wonderful relationship with the Poland as well because we are protected. So have Courland. I'm surprised Courland haven't dipped their toes into the war either. That is unusual, but perhaps they want to keep themselves to themselves there. And of course, we've got then the Dutch here as well, who for some reason the Westphalians have moved against, but. They haven't done anything yet. They've attacked the college here. But they do have these two Netherland Marines here, which are very, very strong indeed. No sight of the Spanish yet, but look, that's that's there's a lot of fighting going on around us. It really is. We've got a good sort of relationship with all our sort of smaller compatriots here. Which is excellent to see. Of course, we've got to repair this, but it's gonna cost a pretty penny to do so. And we're also building up a second army here. We do need a general. I definitely want to get a general for this army here and increase this if possible. Recruitment. I'd like to get the Prince Albrecht, but if we can got we can get this some of these we can't we can't afford them, but if we get some of these hussars here, that would be an absolute wonder. It really would. And also the Gemmarie Marie here, the cavalry. That would be wonderful. And also the Carboneers here as well, the Carbines, Prince Carl Dragoons. They would be absolutely incredible, particularly to keep this under under lock and key here. But the only reason we've got this under control is because we've got the army in place. And we've also exempted it from tax. If we do this, as you can see, it just barely, barely squeaks in there. And that again just pricks out a little bit. We, we're not, not going to worry about that just yet. You can see we lose 300. So I'd rather have the loss of income and keep this under control. We do need additional force in here if we're going to keep things under control. My goodness me, it's going to be a tough fight, but I think we're going to we're going to move against Prague if we can wrestle Prague away from them. It would be an absolute boom, but we're going to we're going to throw we're going to throw away behind this now. This is a do or die. So here we go. Let's take the fight, my friends. Now, as you can see, they've got a plethora of force, particularly the the these are the greatest concern. The marine, the great the marines are always going to be the toughest prospect here in this army. Now we do. I would say our army is in probably better order, particularly with the, the veterancy of our units. It's definitely a better order here. They've got a mishmash. There's no sort of coherency. There's no there's no sort of order running through this army. So they just put a load, of, a load of units together and throw them all in together and just said, well, let's just put for the best. I, although ours only consists of one particular regiment, it is consistent. You know what you're getting out of these regiments. I know we've got the pikes here. They'll be good against the horse got a, a horse that's been with us a long time we've, we've got a 12 pounder here which is a little bit different we've, we've sort of moved out the seeker the demi cannon and we've put in the 12 pounder here which is excellent to see but look the, there's consistency running through ours we know what we're going to get with these units i wonder if we dare look for demand surrender would it be possible if it would what a boom that would be if we could take this off i don't believe it i don't believe it you jest sir surely they They've take they've surrendered the city without even a shot being fired. Wow. I don't believe it. And also it's fully in our control. Without even a without even And I know they'll probably move against Dresden here, but we've got a full army. Well, we, won't, we won't invest in the city just yet. We've, oh my goodness me, that is extraordinary. Now the income has dropped like a stone here because of course all the damaged buildings, but I can't believe that even happened. They've given Prague up without even so much of a whimper. Could we see the end of Austria? No, no, just don't get ahead of yourself, Mala. Don't get ahead of yourself. Wow, we took it. That is extraordinary to see. Oh, wait a minute. There's Breslau here as well. Look at that. Now that's crafting. They can move against us on two sides here. There's Breslau here, Silesia they've taken. So we've got to be real careful here what we're doing. Because they could pincer us here. But I think we've got enough forces to deal even with that, to be honest with you. Because this is not really a scary force at all. This one here, more because it's got three marine regiments. But if it didn't have those marine regiments, it wouldn't be a problem. If they could attack with all three, that's a different prospect altogether. Now, of course, Hanover here is... No control. Of course, we could probably move down to Dresden, but for us to take that is it quite extraordinary. It really is. Got the research here. We just need to really hold on here, but I can't believe that happened. Wow. 
Now that might spring Prussia into action here, but if we lose, if we do lose Prague, it won't be the end of the world. We'll just leave it completely smashed up. We'll have a sort of a, you know, we'll have a scorched earth policy. We will just let the whole thing just burn, let them repair it themselves. We'll, we'll push the army back out of the way. But that is that is extraordinary for see that happen. It really, really is. But let's end the turn. Let's see what let's see what comes out. I've got two seven seven zero here. Tax income is not that great, it, but does pay for half, a relatively half of our army upkeep. The navy upkeep is not going to be anything anyway. But trade is pretty good here at the moment. But no trade will pass through here yet because we have got none of these builds repaired, which we're not going to do just yet. I think that might be a a, a, a problem on our side. Great Britain is unfriendly. They're definitely unfriendly with us now. I wonder if Sweden would be interested. <clears throat> in perhaps I want to give them plug bayonets because that will give them some additional forces here I wonder if they'll take some no, I wonder if they will well, square formation for a trade agreement a trade agreement and we're we'll going to square formation Look at that. Okay, they don't, they're friendly with us, but it'll only probably last a small amount of time. And that's absolutely fine. We've given them square formation, but they've also got trade with Sweden. Now, we can only hope that that might bring peace in the long term. Ooh, that's a big jump in income there, but we're not going to rely on that at all. I can only hope that I'll keep them at bay for some time, not all the time, but it might give us a chance to get this army up here. Now we've got options here as well. We've got the land via. This army definitely need cavalry though, well, the shadow of a doubt. Right, let's end the turn, my friends. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what comes our way. Britain, who are, shall we say, irked by us, to say the least. You, oh, oh, oh. Oh, they took it a real beating there. They went down to deal with the Ottomans without a shadow of a doubt. There it is, they're moving against Dresden. They're going to move against Dresden without a shadow of a doubt there, that force. Ah, ha, ha. There it is. There's Prussia. Now, the calculus of the council might have been right. But we're going to move and prepare for what's coming our way. It looks like the Ottomans are going to move against, hopefully they're going to move against the, the Austrians. Now, Sweden. Nothing yet. <clears throat> 13 colonies. Mukal Empire. Ah, Bavaria. Pirates, right. We ooh. looks like they've thrown everything they can into here. They got marines, but that's about it. That's not really a very powerful force, indeed. But can oh, we can indeed, sir? Of course, half of our money is going to Poland. That's why we're only getting one five five one instead of three two seven zero. That's why we're not getting all we need here out of this, because we got this. We got a protectorate of Poland. So instead of getting it the full 3,000, half it's going to Poland. We've got the Bavarians here. Well, I don't know what they're sending those forces for there. Excellent. It's going to be a tough fight here, my friends. It's going to be a real tough fight. Oh, half our money's going to Poland. I don't, I like, don't like that at all. But they're going to come for us. They're probably going to hit, try and hit Berlin. We can recruit these gentlemen here, but I'd like to recruit some hussars. But we can't, we can't recruit a lot. My damn, it's going to cost a lot of money for those. <clears throat> I think the Prince Albrecht are going to be the ones we're going to go for here. And also the Gendarmerie. 
We can't do anything about here, we're just not going to just yet. Because we know it's coming our way here. We've got these gentlemen, they're gonna move against Dresden. They're gonna move against this force here has been and they've also managed to put the take this army in here. We know if we move out of Prague, they'll probably come back for us, but if we can just if we can if we can destroy their, their armies piecemeal bit by bit and draw them out and pull them out of out of a, out of where they need to be we can effectively el eliminate what's coming our way we're going to build this army up here to deal with this army coming in so we've got two of these regiments coming in here we can also probably pull this army back and deal with it as well but i'd like to try and take this arm um, this this small force out here because it's quite clearly going to hit dresden I don't want to lose Dresden. I don't mind losing Prague because it's something we took for free. But I think we're going to deal with this force here. We might even move against Breslau here as well if we can. And just try and eliminate everything around us here. How are the Ottomans getting on here against them? Nothing here. They've taken that there. But oh, look at that. They're now here. So we've got... Oh, wait. Poland is in. Poland is there. Oh, come on, Poland, you've got to retake this here. All right, let's deal with what's in front of us. I think what we'll do is we'll move and we'll take this force out of here. We're not going to auto-resolve this. We want to try and keep the force intact as best we can. They've got plenty of cannon here. They're going to cause us some problems. But if we can deal and eliminate their forces around the edges of here, just, just so they can't congregate a massive force, we'll deal with them piece by... Look at that, we've got 5,000. But that might, that won't, might not... That might not come in our favour here, so we've got to be killed. Let's, let's attack here. Let's attack. Then what we'll do, we'll replenish and repair. And then what we'll do then is we will then be ready for whatever comes our way. But if they take Prague, it won't be too much of a problem. What it might have done is pulled out some of their forces away from where they were. Looks like Westphalia are also going to come, not Westphalia, Bavaria are going to come in to help us as well. Let's have a look at the topography here. We've got a brutally cold day, my goodness me. And we've got a huge deployment zone. I mean, that's a massive deployment zone. I mean, look at the size of our army. I'd like to try and keep some of these back. We don't need all of these forces here to deal with this particular force. I'd like to try and keep some of them intact if possible for what's to come next. We've got to try and harbour and husband our forces here. Provincial cavalry. I think we'll have them on this flank here because, as you can see, the deployment zone doesn't overlap ours at all. In fact, ours overlaps theirs. So I'd like to keep the, the cavalry together. It has proved effective in the past. We'll lose the Prince Albrecht as well together. For those of you who haven't seen the Prince Albrecht, look at that. I mean, that is an absolute joy to see there. Now, we will, of course, got the pikemen here, which I think we might use. I know it sounds going to be a little bit a little bit harsh, but perhaps it's cannon fodder. Mind you, they're hidden here, so they're coming out of the out of this sort of wooded area here, this brush. Having them sort of spring a trap on on unsuspected regiment, that would be absolutely phenomenal. But I'd like to try and keep some of these regiments back. Because we know we're gonna be assaulted and attacked by the Austrians. They're not gonna the Austrians aren't gonna let this go, are they? Let's be honest. Keep these regiments out of harm's way here. got a lot of forces my goodness me I'd like to use militia as well I think militia will be good to have as well they're hidden as well that's excellent I know they're not the finest of troops but they can if they use at the right time why are you, why are you not hidden sir probably because you need to be deeper into the, the bingo there it is Got both of these hidden now. If they come close enough, we can launch these two regiments into them. That might just give them the fight of their lives here. Not much of a tit tit with, but it'll be wonderful to see. We've got these two regiments pulled back here. I'll try and keep a couple more off the line here. Two, three, three off here as well. Keep them out of gain. Keep them out of harm's way. Just to keep some of our regiments fresh. Remember, we are on a limited, a limited economy, <clears throat> but also. Our troops have to stay relatively fresh for what is to come. <clears throat> now, we can use the other army we've got in Hanover to sort of replenish some of this main army. But ideally, we've got it. This army has to fend for itself. Right, let's pull 
the gentleman back here to here. The gentleman here. Right, let's bring the guns in here. So the gun is here. We'll set them with the guns here. Let's move them out of the way of these forces here. And let's set our forces fair. Let's put the 17th of the vanguard here. We'll put them here. I imagine they could be quite well hidden here. <clears throat> Indeed, we could probably hide the majority of our force here. We'll put the 12th here on the right. Again, hidden beautifully here. So there's an overlap there. That's not good. We need a slight gap here. Oh, that's a beautiful sight. And also here on the left. Got the 3rd Regiment. They're all hidden as well. That's a joy to see. The 19th. Now, the 19th isn't hidden, it's, but it, no, it's not hidden. So that might, this might draw the Austrians onto us here. Right, so just probably one more regiment here would have the 6th. It'll guard this sort of extreme right flank here. Now we shouldn't need much more than that. And we can take... These gentlemen can be taken off fire at will. We don't want them shooting into our own ranks. Take these gentlemen here and set them along the back here, back edge here. And the same for these. We've got three, six, we've got eight regiments here that are still in good, good health here. Uh, we'll try and manage this force, what we've got here. Will, will that happen? I'm not sure, but we'll give it a damn good try here. And they've got plenty of cannon as well, which is going to be the main problem. That's why we've got these gentlemen here to move against the cannon. Let's begin, my friends. They must have, they must have forces hidden here. Because this, this is not all the forces they've got. Absolutely idiotic mistake. They must have forces here somewhere. There's the Marines. There's the Marines. Got to stay away from these. Not doing, they're not doing anything at all. Whilst they've got their back, well, they're running away. There's the Marines, there's the Marines. God, that's absolutely phenomenal to see. Oh my gosh. We've completely wiped them out. Gentlemen, move! Get out of there! Oh, what a joy to see that was. Complete elimination of their main artillery force with no casualties. That's a wonder. That is a wonder. We can just hit these on the flanks here, these marines. We know they're going to be a danger. But let's just set ourselves fair here. Go away from the get past here, though. They must have other regiments we're missing here, the units. Yeah, 
Patience, my friends. Patience is going to pay off here. They don't like the pipes, they don't like the pipe then. If it was Marines, they'd panic that was gonna cut. Absolutely obliterate them here. Use it only in these regiments here. What if we can what if we can attack these here? Let's probably just run out of here. We're gonna completely obliterate this this force here. Was 
demarcation line all the way back here. We can probably get, we can probably f kill this regiment off as well. Come on, gentlemen, move. I'm going to send the pikes in against these here. Sides. Come on, lads. Gentlemen, finish them off now. Finish them off. These demarcation lines, they get to that, they've made it, but they're not left. There's not an effective force here anymore. Yes. Oh, they're not going to make it. Just push them away from the line. Take it back with the pipemen. Pipemen have done an absolute phenomenal job here. They've done an absolute phenomenal job here, my goodness me. I thought they were not very good, but they've done an absolute splendid job there. Don't let him escape, don't let him escape, lads. Oh, what a fight. Yes, the whole regiment gone. Wait a minute. What well, I'll be. There's gorillas there. They've been hiding this whole time. They must be hiding in these hills here. Well, time to dig them out. Be more of them somewhere. But it'd be like, oh. oh look at that. Stakes going down. Very crafty indeed. It's time we dig them out. Absolutely obliterated those marines here.
check these brush. Let's check this brush here. There must, there could be more hidden. Might be able to screen these though. Come on, gotta come back. Come on, gentlemen. Come on, force them off the stakes. from the stakes there. just these four regiments. Everything else is completely intact. Wow. Oh no, oh no. What the places? They've been hidden this entire time while I'll be... They must be hidden all along the, the whole field here. They're gone, they're shattered. Oh my gosh, they, oh, they perform spectacularly here. They've absolutely decimated me here. was my goodness me we absolutely smashed them we lost 771 look at that they've got 
They've got nothing left. Look at the provincial carol. Look at the Prince Albrecht. Look at that. Over 700 kills. Wow. Absolutely obliterated. Now, I know we've got Prague completely open here. If they move against Prague, that's absolutely fine. We've now essentially got a full intact army ready to meet them. And our army is also intact to meet Prussia. So this could have, could have been a, a huge ruse. You could have pulled in. We might even be able to take Breslau as well. Because that's only guarded by these regiments here. The strongest forces here. We could even push against Vienna. And take Vienna out. Oh my gosh. We may have just broken the entirety here of the Austrian front. Let's go see what's going on. They've got nothing else behind you at all. We could, we could ultimately destroy <clears throat> Austria here at this point. I kid you not, my friends. Wow. And we haven't even repaired or replenished and they're still happy with us. <laughs> wow. We could even... I think we got a good chance of giving these a severe mauling as well if they come our way. <clears throat> because we've got these two regiments coming in as well. So there's a good chance we might have enough to do to take care of the Prussians as well. And we might even be able to take we might even be able to take Vienna. Because all we've all we've effectively lost here, we've lost some six men here. But these take these regiments took the brunt of it, and also the regiments of horse. I know that's gonna be a problem of going against this because it's also a wall city, remember, so that's gonna be incredibly tough to take. Especially against these forces, it'll probably completely destroy this army here. But if we were to take Breslau as well. We'd have carved ourselves a huge empire in such a short space of time. But I'm going to leave that up to you, my friends. What do we do? We're going to ask the council's advice once again. Now that we've taken Prague, we've defeated the forces here. We've even got Bavaria here coming to help with three line infantry regiments. It may not seem a lot, but it will definitely help if they're here help defend, helping us as well. Looks like we might have relieved the pressure on Bavaria as well at this stage, because that's, that's not under siege either. So that's excellent to see. It really is. I can leave this to council to fight. We, do we move up and take Prussia? I know many of the council are asking for to take Gdansk, but it would leave all of this undefended unless we send this army up to deal with them, of course. Which I think it probably would be able to deal with them, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe adding one or two more regiments would probably do this. Here, having a few more regiments in here, maybe three more regiments in here would give us a complete army. Look at that, plus one to morale. That is so fantastic. Oh my gosh. But I'm going to leave this in the council's capable hands here. What do we do now, my friends? Do we move against Breslau here? Now, I know Vienna is going to be a tough nut to crack. Because remember, they've got defences. So we don't have the guns. We don't have the artillery pieces to really open this up. It would be a, a full-on assault on all sides. And it would be an absolute bloodbath. Because remember, they still got two marine regiments here. You know, they've also got pikemen of their own. We see what pikemen can do. They've also got the Hungarian grenadiers. So they're not going to be pushed back easily. They've also got lots and lots of cavalry which they're going to stroll out with us from. But apart from these three regiments here, they don't really have anything tough. We could go for Vienna and completely destroy the Austrians altogether. But then we'd have Breslau here on our flank and we've got the Prussians coming in as well. But we could take Breslau here and then we could link up and then we can replenish and repair and move against Vienna. But I will leave that, my friends, in your capable hands. Look at that, 3,000 coming in there. But remember, all our, all our income is halved because like, we're only going to get 2,100. Two because when we half of all our, our, our income goes to Poland, which I completely forgot about. Now, Saxony is... He, Clamour for reform, that's absolutely fine. We do need to replenish and repair this here if we're going to hold on to Prague, which I think we probably will now. So we'll probably move this army back into Prague and then replenish the army. Hopefully, with Bavaria, might be able to help us as well. That would be excellent. I can't believe we can get any more trade from anybody else. I think we've all our trade lines are all full now. Yes, they are. Sweden's friendly with us, plus 46 now. Maybe that might be the turning point there we need. And friendly with Prussia. I don't think Prussia would look for peace. Let's see if they will request single peace here. No, they're not going to. <clears throat> Minus 56 over Austria. 
Now we could, we, or we could sue for peace with Austria. What do you think, my friends? Do we take Breslau and then maybe sue for peace? Because all they would have left then is Hungary and Vienna. That would give us time then to, to sort of sort get ourselves ready here for whatever to come our way. That's a lot coming in here. Saxony. We've got the Ottoman Empire and the 13 colonies coming in here as well. Now the Ottomans are pushing, if I'm not mistaken, against... The Austrians as well. If we see if we see a huge Ottoman force or a Polish force moving in here, oh, there's the Ottomans there. If we see this combined attack here making way for Hungary, we might push in for Vienna and take it. Imagine we'd have the whole spine here of Central Europe would be under our control, and that would just give us a huge platform in which to push on from. Perhaps even just to break the from the yoke here of the Poles. We wouldn't threaten the Ottoman Empire because they've been good allies of ours, indirect allies, but maybe push westwards. <clears throat> For some reason, I'm not sure why. The, the, oh, gosh, the Dutch got absolutely hammered there by the Westphalians. Now, that might fall into Westphalian control there, which will actually see us. They're very fair, and we've got trade with them as well. And they're allied with France. But if they, t if they took Amsterdam, what an absolute boon. Because we'd be directly linked in with the Westphalians as well. Overland here. Oh, wow. Imagine we'd lose a huge amount of our income. But that, my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I'm going to wait for the Council's advice once again. Is it Breslau? Is it Gdansk? Or is it Vienna? Now, I know some of you will say, well, Manny, you didn't really take our advice last time with Prussia, but I think you might agree, my friends. That was probably the most, probably the best thing to do then was to take that small force. We've effectively walked away with almost no casualties at all from our main force here. Just a few here, one or two here. But even then, I, I would think you would agree, well, that's a pretty good outcome there for us to wipe out an entire grouping there of, of Austrian forces from that flank and then have this army if relatively intact to fight whenever it comes our way. Because this army isn't even in full strength. Look, there's a tattered flag. So again, they're losing or something's happening where they're not be able to replenish. That gold mine, my goodness, we'd get our hands on that gold mine, it'd be phenomenal. But my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope, my friends, you've enjoyed it. As always, please keep your comments coming down below. Thank you all for your wonderful advice. You really have helped push this campaign on. For I know we've had a little bit of a technical issue, which has headed us in a different direction. The outcome now looks a little bit different to how it was. But the council's advice still has been absolutely phenomenal. Look at the income here. Look at the trade flowing through Saxony here. Wow, what a, that is phenomenal. We know they're probably going to aim for us. It looks like they're probably aiming for Berlin here. But we're going to be ready for them here with this force here. But my friends, as always, whatever you're doing, please be safe. Please be careful. Thank you for all of your wonderful support. You want to advice again. My apologies for the lateness and also the lack of uh, videos coming out over the time. But as you can probably imagine, things behind the scenes are quite busy at the moment with different things happening. But whatever you do, my friends, please be safe, especially in the world we live in at the moment now. But until next time, Bye for now.